Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 26002. We've passed the 26000 mark, and of course, Microsoft is starting to implement new features in Windows 11, especially on the Canary and Dev channels, now that the short break is finished. So in this video, we're going to try to cover everything that is new in this build, of course, everything that has changed, fixes, and so on. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. In this build, if we go into the settings app, into the system section, and then power and battery, you're going to notice that Microsoft is introducing energy saver, which extends and enhances battery saver. It is an easy way to extend battery life and reduce energy used by trading off some system performance. It can be toggled on and off via quick settings in the system tray or configured to run automatically whenever the device reaches a certain battery percentage. All optimized to extend battery life, energy saver will be available when PCs are plugged in. This includes desktop PCs for those aiming to conserve energy all the time. So as you can see, you have here some options. Always use energy saver on or off or an energy saver on automatically when battery is at level, in this case 30%, and lower screen brightness when using energy saver, which is turned on. And if we go into the quick settings, you're also going to notice here energy saver in the quick settings. We have other improvements related to quick settings. Microsoft is trying out a change that improves the overall performance and responsiveness of quick settings in the system tray. They're also making it easier to manage VPN in quick settings. If you have a single VPN, a new split toggle lets you turn it on or off with a single click. If you have multiple VPNs, Microsoft made some changes to the list to reduce the time it takes to start a connection. And you're also going to start to see a new refresh button on the Wi-Fi quick settings flyout, so you can now refresh the list of wireless networks available. It's also an indication of scan progress to help you find nearby networks if the first scan does not reveal the one you are looking for. I've already made a video about this, and of course from that video you can see how to enable this. Related to the settings app, this update starts the rollout of account related notifications for Microsoft accounts on the settings homepage. A Microsoft account connects Windows to your Microsoft apps. The account backs up all your data and helps you manage your subscriptions. You can also add extra security steps to keep you from being locked out of your account. This feature displays the notifications across the start menu and settings. You can manage settings notifications in settings, privacy and security, and then general. Also, Microsoft removed the colored backplates from app icons in settings, apps, and installations apps, as well as settings, system, and notifications. This is an early implementation with more fixes on the way in future flights. Also, as spotted by Phantom Motion 3 on Twitter, this build includes a velocity feature which is called Disable Win 10 Taskbar, and with this enabled, Microsoft will stop loading the Windows 10 taskbar in the background. Basically, if you're wondering how certain third-party apps like Explorer Patcher or Startle Back were able to customize the taskbar in Windows 11, well, that is because Windows 11 was still loading up the old Windows 10 taskbar and Microsoft is starting to disable that and that won't be available in the near future. I'm not sure if this is good news or not, but it feels like Microsoft is starting to limit the customization of the taskbar and also start menu and hopefully they will do some things in this direction. Maybe let us move the taskbar or change the icon size. It would be pretty nice if features like these will be added in the near future in Windows 11. And also in the Canary channel and on the dev channel, we're going to notice this new pop-up in the Paint app creates Starting images with text, describe in words what image or art you'd like to create and co-creator does the rest. And you're going to be able to basically see co-creator, a new quick start guide here, and you're going to be able to check out co-creator on the dev or canary channels. We also have some fixes for known issues. Microsoft fixed an issue which was causing installation of some apps including phone link to fail with error 0x87AF0813 in the previous flight. Also they fixed an underlying issue in recent canary channel builds where the Microsoft store was getting stuck when trying to check for and install app updates. Also fix an issue causing settings to crash when navigating to Bluetooth and devices and touchpad. And they also fix an issue which was causing File Explorer to crash on launch for people using a non-default regional sorting option. We also have a new known issue after a build 26002 is done downloading and is ready to restart to finish the installation. The restart button is missing from the Windows Update settings page. You can reboot by clicking the Windows Update icon in the system tray or open start and reboot from the power button there. After installing this spelled Windows Update settings may not load correctly, but if you close settings and reopen or reboot and navigate to the Windows Update settings page, it should load again. So this is a known issue and I'm sure that this will be fixed in a future flight. So basically, this is all there is to it in the latest Canary Channel build for the Windows Insider program. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.